of the time, they give us formulas, they give us numbers, right? And then we need to isolate for the letter that we're solving for. So the formula that's given to us is not, like, it's not defined that very well, okay? So we have to kind of rearrange the equation to uh, be able to solve, all right? In rearranging equation, you have to move things from one side to the other side of the equal sign. Now when I do that, what do I have to do? Switch signs, so do uh, opposite operation. Yeah. What else? Which order? Does it matter what order do I follow? Reverse bed now. Right? It's the same thing as when you're when you're collecting terms, or when not collecting terms, sorry. When you are simplifying, right, you have to follow bed math. You can't just simply add first, then multiply, then do brackets. Like there is a process that you have to follow, right? Same when you're isolating, there is a process that you have to follow. When I'm moving things from one side of the equality to the other side of the equality, I have to follow reverse bed math. Okay? So the first thing I get rid of is addition and subtraction that's outside the bracket. The second thing I get rid of is multiplication or division. Right? Then I get rid of exponents. Then I get rid of or <coughs> simplify whatever is inside that bracket. Okay? So if you're isolating for P for the first one, what do you do? Bring I over and it's going to become A subtract I. Are you guys okay with that? That's easy? Oh. How about the second one? Divide by what? Divide by 2. So it's going to be A divided by 2 equals to P, correct? Square root, because the opposite of square is? For each variable, or for each example, isolate for the letter B. What would you like to do first? Divide by 2. Divide by 2, right? Because the last thing you want to do is the bracket. The last thing you want to bring out, or you want to move, is the bracket. So first I have to divide by 2. Then bring an over as a addition. Yeah. Now again. You see how only C is divided by 2.
Well, because there is nothing, that means I don't have to write these brackets, right? So these brackets are not even, they're not needed. Bring n over, so it's going to become c plus n. Then, then multiply by 2. So when I multiply by 2, I have to put the c plus n in brackets because the whole c plus n is multiplied by 2. That's why we, we need the brackets to specify that everything, the C plus the N, is multiplied by 2. What do you want to do first? Square root. The last thing you want to get rid of is whatever is in the bracket. You have to get rid of the square first, right? So you want to square root first, right? In order for you to be able to kind of get rid of the bracket. So that's going to be square root of C equals to B minus N. Bring N as addition. inside the bracket, I have a square and I have a multiplication by 2. What's the first thing you want to get rid of? Divide by two. So instead of multiplying by 2, you are going to bring the 2 over and it's going to become division by 2. So it's going to be C divided by 2 equals to B over 2 minus N squared. Okay? So remember, reverse that math. Now what do you want to do after? Square root. So you're going to square root the C over 2. I can get rid of my brackets now. I don't need my brackets. Okay. What will be your next? Move the end. over first instead of the end first. So when, if, if I want to, like, how, in what scenario would I move the two before I end? That's right. So if I have B minus N all divided by two, right, in this case, you move the division by 2 over first, 
then you move the end. You free up the 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 B minus F from the from the division. Okay? So in this case, you have to move this over first, then you move the F. Okay? Honestly, guys, this comes with experience. With doing a lot of these, you'll start kind of like, you don't even think about it. Okay? The more you do, the better you get at this. So to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you ask C. Um, but <laughs> this is the formula. The degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 multiplied by F, which is the Fahrenheit minus 32. So is used to determine the formula, sorry, is used. Determine the formula to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius by isolating for F. So that will be 9C. <clears throat> Divide by 5? Yeah, because you want to get rid of that bracket. Then, so add 32. You guys good to do the last question or do you want me to do it and we'll call it a day? Let's see. The area of a circle with radius r is given by a equals pi r squared. Use the formula to determine the radius of a circle or oil spill that covers an area of 5 kilometers, square kilometer. So what am I solving for? What am I solving for? The A is given to me, right? Uh, okay. Determine the radius. So I'm looking for the radius, given that A is 5, right? I know that A is 5 kilometers squared, square kilometer, right? So that means I have to isolate for A, R. How do you isolate for R? What's the first thing you want to do? Divide by pi. Remember that pi is a number, right? Pi is a three point whatever, one four one five, right? So first you want to get rid of it. You want to move it over as a division. Then square root. So now when you square root, the whole a divided by pi is going to be square root. So it's going to be the square root of a over pi equals to. So now, to find the radius, you're going to square root 5 over pi. And that should be 1.3. So 1.3? The only reason I'm keeping it to one decimal place is because this is to one decimal place. So you want to keep it to one decimal. Thank you. 
information. Okay? What, am I, what are we uh, forgetting here? What are we forgetting? The report, the radius of the spill. How much is the, the, the report worth in your, on your time test? Whatever. It's worth about half a mark each, right? So you don't want to lose half a mark for every question, do you? 